Hello, wonderful people of the internet. It's time for another dinner recipe here at Simply Healthy Living. Remember to hit subscribe if you want more recipes like this. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments. We're back with yet a lovely healthification of junk food. This time around is fried or barbecued chicken wings that are getting a vegetarian makeover using cauliflower. I personally love how the once boring and humble vegetable cauliflower has become this trendy vegetarian food, as it is actually possible to grow here in Norway. And so all the fun recipes help me enjoy this Scandinavian staple in new ways. It also means more local kortreist, or short-traveled, food full of healthy nutrients on the table, which is awesome! So, if you are craving some sticky junk food, I got you with these delightful oven-baked and birdless wings. For this dinner, you will need the following ingredients. Check the video description below for the full list with measurements. First, preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius or 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, clean your cauliflower and divide it into florets. You want them more or less evenly sized for even baking in the oven. Cauliflower contains a lot of vitamins and other important trace substances, yet is still low on fat and carbs, so it's an excellent base for healthification. Then we mix our dipping batter. 3 fourth cup of rice flour, 1 tablespoon of tapioca flour or cornstarch, 1 tablespoon of sunflower oil or other neutral vegetable oil, some salt and freshly ground pepper, one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and three for the cup water or plant milk. You can also add one teaspoon of ground ginger if you have any. Also, if you don't have rice flour, I think you can replace it with a mix of cornstarch and plain flour. But you'll have to Google it, because I'm not sure. <laughs> Whisk that together with a fork and set aside. For the dipping sauce, we mix a two tablespoons of sambal oilic, or just one mashed chili with some lime juice if you don't have that, three tablespoons of maple syrup, 2-3 to three tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons sesame oil, 1 teaspoon rice vinegar or other vinegar, and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Taste to check that the seasoning is right and then set aside. Now it's time to dip and bake. Bring forth the baking sheet and line with parchment paper. Set up your workflow and then start dipping your cauliflower florets in the batter, shaking off excess before placing on the baking sheet. If the batter seems very thin, add some more rice flour. Repeat until all your florets are bathed in batter. <laughs> Whew, tried saying that five times fast. Bathed in batter, bathed in batter. As you can see, I ran out of batter before that happened. So I decided I would set up a taste off. Taste off, taste off, taste off. Woo! To see whether these healthy wings could match up to the magic of deep frying. To do this, I made a second batter for deep frying with rice flour, tapioca flour, a bit of baking powder and water. And then I would also after dip them with some extra tapioca flour to make the batter set. But now my oven was nice and warm, so it was time to pop in the oven bake challengers for 15 minutes. For the deep fried candidates, I just marinated them with some oil and flavorings of my choice. You can use whatever you like if you want to try this. While we wait for the deep frying oil to get hot, we prep our salad. Today I'm using some standard lettuce and cherry tomatoes, chopping and putting in cold water to rinse and freshen up. Then I take a piece of cucumber and dice it. That's all I had time for before my oil was ready, so I took a little break from that to deep fry. To deep fry, I simply dip in the batter, roll in the tapioca flour, and then drop it in the hot oil to fry, turning it around a little before removing to a plate covered in a kitchen towel to soak up the excess oil. I repeat until all florets are nice and crispy and golden fried. So as you can see, these are worthy challengers. I'm not cheating. Meanwhile, the oven bakers reached their halfway point of 15 minutes and we turned them before returning them to the oven for another 15 minutes. I can say that these were a lot easier to make than deep frying ones with less burning damages and also less cleaning up, but I might be a little bit biased. Then we can return to our salad, emptying out the water and slicing the tomatoes together with most of a spring onion and a peach. Putting fruit in salads is a game changer and further adds to the amount of wonderful vitamins we're getting from it. Just look at this content. Health candy, the best candy. When the salad is ready, set it aside, heat up a pot of water and let's get to boiling our corn. 
I'm chopping my corn in two because I don't have a big enough pot for a whole one and chipping them in boiling hot, slightly salted water. Corn contains vitamin C and magnesium as well as offering up some carbs for today's meal. As you can see, I marinated my deep fried cauliflower wings as more or less the same as the oven baked ones we're getting. And now the time is up for the oven baked florets, so we remove them and move on to the final step, saucing. Dip each floret in the prepared sauce, getting them well covered before putting them back on the baking sheet and baking for a final 15 minutes in a 230 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees Fahrenheit oven. This makes them super sticky and decadent. Now all that remains is waiting for the corn and cauliflower to be ready, so use the time to clean a bit or take a well-deserved glass of your favorite drink. Remove the corn from the water after about 10 minutes. Whew! I almost forgot, I have some stuff from my veranda garden. Not much, but I'm super proud of my very own little lettuce leaves, cherry tomatoes and sugar peas. It's so much fun to grow little vegetables at home. At last, my oven baked florets are done and ready to be plated. For these, a creamy dipping sauce is lovely, so use sour cream, quark or yogurt mixed with garlic, some honey, sesame oil and tahini. The dipping sauce adds more minerals as well as healthy fats and protein. This is a tasty looking meal, no doubt about it, but does it taste as good as it looks? And do the oven baked ones match up to the deep fried florets? Bring in the skeptical boyfriend! Now let's taste with dipping sauce and the deep fried. And the winner is oven baked! Amazing! These lovely birdless wings manage to replicate the crispiness of full deep fried. The sticky, lovely sauce together with the creamy dipping gives a balanced spiciness and is incredibly Moorish. So what are you waiting for? Get cooking, enjoy and take care!